Hey, what's up? This is Zach here with Mary from Hollow Chain. Super excited to be diving into something really cool that you guys are building. Um, the Volha phone, Vola phone, Vola phone, Vola phone. Yeah. Do you want to tell us what it is and sort of what you guys are doing? Yeah, this is really exciting. And one of our partners is a company in Germany called Vola, and they have built a uh, privacy first uh, mobile phones. And this is the latest and greatest. This is this is the pre-release. Quintus phone, um, and uh, it's getting ready to be shipped out later this month. Um, and what's really great is we partnered with them and we built a, a peer to peer chat app that is coming pre installed on the um, on the Vola phone. So uh, basically, we built we built this application that is a, a chat app and it allows their users who basically are trying to get off of big tech. Um, and out of the ecosystems that are surveillance based, that are advertising business model based, who really want to have technology that doesn't have that sort of you know tint or 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 control mechanism built into it, and and they've been building this business for a lot of years. So this is I don't I don't know what um, what number this is, but they've they've got four or five models, maybe far more than that. Um, that they've already released, and this is the latest and greatest. It's a really wonderful smartphone. So it's running on a open. So it's running on an open source um, uh, OS, and and it's got applications that are built in the open source. It does not. You do not connect to connect it into Google. You do not have to be uh, you know connected to the iStore. You can run software that is uh, coming out of the open source uh, app stores on it, and and really. We they contacted us originally, and it was a really great. Um, it was just a really great experience to have somebody reach out and understand Holochain as, hey, you're building this tech that we think actually aligns with our values and actually gets the job done at the level that we want for our customers, because our customers are demanding something, and they're demanding to be able to be in a a social app together without having somebody in the middle, without it going on servers where whatever they're saying, you know, is sitting in a server in the US, you know, where the jurisdiction laws are completely different than the jurisdiction that the people are living in. Those things happen day in, day out, whenever you're working with big tech and large companies, your data processing is, I mean, it's out of control. I mean, we all are used to seeing it, right? Just look at all the terms of service that we have to check the box. And if you go and read the details, how many people is it sharing it with? And what are the data processing rules for that? Well, their organization is saying, no, 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 there's actually a market out there in the world. There's a market of people who say, we don't want that anymore. We're, we're done with the way that our data is being used and we want to take back control and we want to be agents in our digital lives. And so being asked to, to, to partner with them, being able to build what, what, you know, this was a big deal for us to build a whole chain application that is mobile first, right? This means that you're literally having a chat app on mobile phones that go on, that go off, that connect, you know, to different networks that work, you know, with cell towers and all these other things. And you're able to be in a peer-to-peer -peer communication uh, on, a, on a chat app, you, you know, with data stored between the people who are actually chatting and not up on servers. It's profound. Um, it took a lot for us to get it to this point. Um, so what, what for me, is really exciting as you know as the executive director of Vola Chain, what this project and what our partners with Vola really afforded us was the opportunity to say we have to have Vola Chain working on mobile and we have to have it working on mobile now. Uh, it's going to be delivered on phones to real customers and it's going to be used for people chatting for thousands and thousands of people. Now, what's exciting on top of that is that the app that is coming pre-installed on, on the mobile phone, um, on the Quintus that, that's being released right now, it will also be available for download. So, I mean, right now, it's it can function on any Android device. You can install this on any Android phone and join in to, to the conversation because the way you join into the conversation on a peer-to-peer -peer chat app is you invite a friend. That's it. The minute you invite a friend, you're creating a, a, a shared space for you and your friend to talk. And that's it. 
and you hold the data and I hold the data. So if we get in a chat app, it's ours. It doesn't belong to anybody else. When we're online, we chat. So that's it. Super impressive. And I mean, we I know we have the screen behind us. Is this? Can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here? Yeah. So the thing with um, the the chat app, the the messenger app that we've got with Vola is that it can do two kinds of different uh, chats. You know, like most messenger systems, you can do direct chats between two people, or you can do group chats. And they work just a little bit differently. Um, there's some similarity, right? I invite you into a chat as an individual and you say yes. And see, we're both saying consenting adults saying yes to chat together, just like we do in real life where, you know, if you might walk by, walk down the hall. Someone's saying like, you guys are okay to talk now. That's right. <laughs> it's like, you, yeah. have, you don't have that, but you also, you also get the real world experience of, oh no, I don't want to be in a chat conversation with you. It ends. You don't have yeah. people. People can't just keep spamming you. Oh, that's nice. So <laughs> you can do an invitation, but that's it. Until I say yes, you don't get to say anything else. And that's the thing about agency and Holochain, right? It really does require a mutuality and agreement between people. Oh my God, that would reduce so much spam. Holy crap. Exactly. So, but, but the other one, so what we got showing up here is the group chat app. And this works very similarly because you have to be invited into the group. Um, so it, you, it doesn't, it's just not about available for anyone. And it, each invitation is, um, is really only usable by the person that it's sent to. So it's really interesting the way this has been designed, really considerate about keeping, um, people's, you know, opt-in and consent at the forefront of everything. So it's, it's, it's fabulous. We're excited to be here. We're excited to show it up. We've got a lot of great uh interest in it and here at the booth we've been uh having demo phones uh we've been doing a giveaway with phones uh just recently um but i think i think the thing that everybody just reacts to is like what i'm chatting with you and there's no server that just it blows people's minds that you can literally have phones that talk to each other without a middleman so it's really it's been profound really grateful for our partnership with bola Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see what comes next. I actually really, really want one of those phones. So I'm going to be entering a raffle. We'll see who wins. Um, but thank you so much um, for the great interview and definitely stay tuned for more. Great. Thanks, Zach.